I'm at Target and it looks like they moved all the gamer gifts and collectibles to a different section. So, still got the 10 inch green goblins. Wayne's World. 10 inch Thanos? Armored Thanos? What is he doing here? <laughs> it's got some damage there. Maybe it was in the back. Got some Pezzes. Really strange spot for them to put all this stuff. Wonder where they put all the collectibles. Maybe it's on clearance somewhere. Bakugo, what are you doing over here? Looks pretty good. They have all these cards, but no X Men cards. Man, what are they? I guess maybe due to license licensing issues and stuff like that. It's probably pretty costly since it's Marvel. Oh, they do have a Darth Vader pop. What? This came out like a week ago. Is this the last one? I think it is. What is that scratch? Well, this. I think it's just the uh, plastic. But still, I mean, that's a sick looking pop. I did not expect to see this here. Awesome, okay. Definitely gonna grab this one. And they do have a lot of new pops, so let's check them out. They have the Chamberlain from the Dark Crystal. Looks like that's an exclusive. A couple other characters from that. Michael Scott in the office. I guess they have some Christmas versions now. Dwight Schrute back there. <laughs> that actually looks pretty cool. as well. Hello. I don't collect any of the office pops though. It's a funny show. Doug funny. I love that show. But oh, man, these pops are so plain. I like pops with a lot of detail. They have these new frozen ones. Earth Giant. Looks pretty cool. Pops. Let's actually look at the back. Ooh, this one's heavy. These are pops. Oh, these are pops. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh. So did you know what pops she was talking about? Well, can we kind of like go down to the like Oh yes, they finally have the laser shot predator. Okay, they have a good amount. Nice. It's about time this showed up. Man, that looks sick. Look at the armor. Oh man, $27.99. Hold on one sec, guys. All right, sorry about that. I was helping that lady find a toy for her son. Um, let's see, they still have these too. I know somebody commented on one of the videos said that they were looking for that. So yeah, these are still here. Oh, this is such an awesome set. I already got it, bought it at GameStop a while ago. I actually do need this one right here. Got the first one. It was good. Still have yet to see the second movie. Looking forward to it for sure. It's amigos. Been calling them amigos for longest. What is this? Trick or treat. I like this man, it looks really cool. A lot of accessories. A couple pumpkins. Nice box art. Another it one. Chris's alien. Fantastic piece. Oh, we got these guys. Oh, they got the Gremlin 2 pack. Oh, how much are these? 
does not say. No, that's not it. It's probably like 30 something. Comes with a gingerbread man, the candy cane. Man, is that soft goods? It is. Look at that scarf. I think it is. This is some rubbery type of material. That's cool. Godzilla. Halloween 2. Man, they have a lot. They're stacked right now. Some Chia Pets. Oh, man. I do have a, a Target gift card, so I'm thinking about getting this one at least. God, these look so good. I don't know. I'll think about it. Alright, I think that does it. Yeah, let's get out of here. Check it out, guys. They have this Call of Duty display, and it looks like they have some new action figures. What is this? Frank Woods. We have a whole bunch of Frank Woods. This is Dr. Edward Rich Tiffin. A budget Jonah James, maybe. And they have this guy, Captain John Price. It's pretty cool. Did any of y'all purchase a new COD game? I'm not going to. I'm just not into COD anymore. I used to play the hell out of it back in the day on 360, but. Cod days are over. Alright, let's go to the Funko Pops. Alright. Looks like they have a whole, whole bunch of Simpson ones. Saw these last time. Ooh, they have the King Homer. Which is a really cool looking pop. But, I don't know. I just... Yeah. It's like one of those that I like. But I just don't need. I don't need any of these. <laughs> Ooh, this Reinhardt. I actually may get this one in the future. He used to be my main. Now, with the new uh, role-playing feature where you can pick your role on Overwatch, I've been playing a lot of DPS. Just a damage, the damage dealer. Been playing a lot of Reaper. Is Reaper here? Reaper pop? And there's Genji. No, I do not see a Reaper. Voldemort here? Where is Voldemort? I've not seen Voldemort here in Charlotte yet. It's strange. I don't know if I'm gonna get these. You know, they look oh, they look good, but not like it's not like oh, I need it, want it. You know, it's not. I don't know. I just don't have that feel for for those ultimate Chucky. I need a Chucky figure. Need to get them with the yellow box. Alright, I think there's more Funko Pops around this corner. Yeah. Oh, let's see. Not really much. These on sale for $5. Ooh, James Harden for five bucks. I know they have some LeBrons, but... Do they have more pops over here? Nope. Alright, let's get out of here. Alright, I'm at GameStop. They're having a 20% off sale still. Here's Luke Skywalker in the Yavin Ceremony outfit. There's Chapa. There's Jana. Don't know nothing about her, but she has a bow and arrow, so probably eventually get her just because of that. <laughs> Wedge. Whatever that is. Kylo Ren. I do have this. I thought about getting this carbonized version. It does, look, it does look really good. But I don't need it. I mean, do we need any of these, really? <laughs> These. I'm still on the fence on these. Because I do want the Storm Collectibles. Man, that's a black hole. I want all these three fighters, but. Jeez. Oh, they have the Mandalorian. And Kara. IG 11. Nice, nice. 
I do have Kara on hold, so it's back there in the counter. Alright, let's go check some other stuff. Alright, let's see. Ooh, Black Series are $14.99. Okay. Is it for all of them or? I wonder if they're gonna have. I wonder if they have anything new. Add me. Okay, I'll pick that up here in a little bit. No, all the older ones and then. $14.99 That actually tempts me to get the uh, C3PO I really don't need another C3PO but This one looks really good Yeah, we good, man We don't need this This is a Alright, let's check the next section. Union Jack. Scorpion. Huh? Yeah, no signs of the Bro Thor wave. I don't think they even hit um, Target yet. Which is kind of strange. Dragon Toys might to get one free. <clears throat> Oh my goodness, look at all these C3PO's. Holy crap. Yeah, these are eventually going to go on sale. I may wait until it gets to like $5 and I may pick it up. I really don't need it though. So I may not even pick it up. Decisions, decisions. Special action figure set. Look at those double jointed elbows. Everyone wanted more articulation. Hasbro said, there you go. Small Yoda. This is probably like 20, 30 bucks. Probably some ridiculous price. Still got these 10 inches. Alright, let's go to a different section. Right. Anything new here? Doesn't look like it. Yeah, we've seen all that. I'm not seeing anything new. We'll come back here maybe later. Oh man, look at all these. Whoa, what the? <gasps> Dude, how is this? Oh my god, these are huge. Oh man. Dude, look how much they have. They have so much. Oh my goodness. They just have, they're just fully stocked. And they have all the turtles too. Gosh, these are 50 bucks though. I definitely gotta get Rocksteady and Bebop though. Man, I didn't know these were out yet. They're not available on Target Online, that's for sure. Oh, baby. I really don't need any more of these turtles. Especially for 50 bucks. I already got the, uh, the previous set and they look much better in my opinion these are a bit lighter in color uh, I don't know what else is different I'm pretty sure the accessories are a bit different too oh you know what they should have the set that comes with just the foot soldiers do they no they don't they just have all the turtles and rocksteady and bebop Oh, never mind. Here's the soldiers. There we go. Nice. I'm definitely gonna get some more of these in the future, but I cannot pay no 50 bucks right now. I <sighs> wasn't even gonna spend that much money, but I gotta get Rocksteady and Bebop, no doubt. Got a coupon too, so.
Panthers, there's Ahab, haven't seen him in a while, it's good to see. Yeah, we've seen all these. Man, I'm just so excited to see those. It's great. Anything else new? Man, dragon stars. These are super small. About like 10, 20 bucks. <laughs> Some ridiculous price. All right, I think that does it, guys. If I see anything else, I will show you. All right, let's get out of here. What's going on, everybody? Welcome to my humble abode. This is Vic, aka the Marvel Ranger. Man, we got a lot to talk about. Um, I do want to go over the uh, the new COPPA laws that are being applied, uh, that are being enforced on us YouTube content creators. And um, yeah, I just want to talk about the whole situation and my thoughts on it. Uh, but I'm going to do that at close to the end of the video. Uh, let's go ahead and show the haul first because I know there's a lot of videos out there um, with YouTubers talking about this situation and there's just too much out there. So let's go in, you know, let's talk toys for now. And then at the end of the video, I'll talk about the kappa and all that. By the way, I just want to thank you all for joining me. Thank you for being a subscriber if you are um, or if you ever watch the videos, if you like the videos because we reached a thousand subs recently and... Now I'm officially partnered with YouTube, which is freaking awesome. This feels great. Um, after the day I got partnered, um, all these videos came up about the COPPA laws. So it kind of sucks. So we'll talk about that close to the end of the video. But I just want to thank you all. I appreciate for all the love. Thank you for getting this channel to where it's at right now. I know it's, it's not still it's still not much at all. A thousand sub, but to me it's a huge milestone and I appreciate it. A whole heap from the bottom of my heart. But anyway, let's go ahead and get to this haul. So first, um, as you guys saw from Target, we found this Darth Vader pop. Just a side. It comes in a hard case. It was like, what, $17? $17.99, I think, plus tax. It looks great, as you can see. I don't know why they made it this style. It's, I think, some... The style is called like Futura something. I forget. But it looks good. I'm really liking these, these exclusives that they're coming out with. And then let's see. From GameStop, um, I did uh, put this on hold so I could secure it at that GameStop. And um, of course, that week they had the 20% uh, off on Star Wars collectibles. So got her for like, I think, 18 bucks or something like that. But man, she looks really good. I like it. That, that's a really good uh, face sculpt of uh, that's her face. Man, I'm totally forgetting her name now. I really like the outfit. There's the back. By the way, I am really enjoying The Mandalorian. The show is so good. Uh, I don't want to spoil it for anybody, so I'm not going to talk about it. And let's see. This is an online pickup. Alfred and Michelangelo. The box is totally beat up. The packaging was actually open um, when I got this, but uh, it's okay. The figures are fine. I'm going to open it up. So It's good. It's really good looking. Alfred from the animated series. Comes with that skateboard, which is nice. Michelangelo. How Alfred fell. There's that. And let's put that aside. And another uh, figure that I got. Well, I actually bought the the headpiece for this Warlock Builder figure. So now I am complete with this build a figure and I definitely need them for the new mutants and X Factor looks good so this headpiece uh, build a figure part came with Colossus and yeah I, I didn't I don't need another Colossus so I just bought the head itself looks good and I'll actually show, I'll snap some pics with uh, Warlock and the new mutants at the end 
All right, the next item is the Marvel Legends Alpha Flight set. Man, the box art just looks fantastic. Very old school vibe. Here's the side. Here's the back. Very nice. Side again. And so if you open it up, got these figures here. It reminds me of the old Toy Biz set. I actually have the one with Colossus and a couple other X Men members Banshee, Storm. And here's the, the bio for them, which is pretty cool. There's Snowbird. And I'm guessing her real name is Narya. And it shows where they're from. Resolute Bay. Yeah, they're all from Canada, as you can see. Shaman. Would have been nice if they showed their powers. Vindicator. Puck. So here they are. They look great. Really good looking Alpha Flight figures. I mean, their outfit, they don't really have too much, you know, designs on them. So that's why it looks pretty simple. But they look great. I like the facial expressions. I, I guess actually they could have been more expressive. <laughs> that's a really nice set. It's really nice to have Puck. So I heard the, the previous Builder figure from the Toy Biz, was Toy Biz line? Um... It had a much smaller head, so they upgraded that. I don't know if the body is a reissue. Um, if you do know, please comment down below, because it looks the same. But then again, I never had the old builder figure in my hands, so I'm not exactly sure. But yeah, it looks the same. I'm sure the painting's slightly different too. It's probably more shading and all that with this version. There's that. So. I would actually, yeah, I'm, I'm going to take these out, but I would love to have one in in box. So I'm sure this set's going to eventually go on sale. It's $109 on Amazon right now, and it is an Amazon exclusive, so keep that in mind. But I'm sure it'll eventually go on sale. All right, let's get to our next item. All right, so I'm going to actually go through this one very quickly. This is the Indominus Rex from the Jurassic World line. I got this from Target Online. Target is giving out a coupon right now for 25% off on one toy. So if you actually uh, text the message toy to this number right here, then they will reply to you with the coupon code that you can use at the register once you purchase something, or you can do it online. So... Um, this is what I picked up. This guy was going for $39.99 retail. But they are having a sale on him for uh, twenty or $34.99. But I used a 25% coupon and I got him for like $26 somewhere around there. So it's a pretty good deal. Um, but yeah, he... Uh, that's this action. If you press that down. And it lights up on the neck, which is really cool. Look at the details on this figure, man. Looks so good. Love it. And then if you press this part right here. Okay. And there's that. But yeah, comment down below. Let me know what you picked up with that 25% coupon. All right. And for our next couple pickups, um, I did get two more of these um, DC Gamer Funko Mystery Boxes. Um, if you haven't seen the previous video, I did already um, pull the two common pops, uh, the Joker one and the Batman one. So I'm really hoping the, I was hoping to get the Batman chase and I actually already recorded uh, myself unboxing these and the video just came out way too long. And so I figured I'm just going to show you guys what I pulled instead of putting that footage, that clip on this video. So I did pick up a duplicate and it is the the common Batman but it comes with the glow-in-the-dark keychain 
and sticker and is it glow in the yeah glow in the dark pez as you can see back there because of that cool sticker too so this is a duplicate so this is actually going to be uh part of the thousand subs giveaway this is going to be one of the choices so i'm going to have um, a couple or several items um, for the giveaway um, i'll show you guys at the end of the video but, but this is one of the choices you get this whole set here and this is a really cool pop i really like i really like these uh, from this wave but all right on the second mystery funko box box we didn't get the batman chase but we did get the joker chase so i was very pleased with that um yeah i'll be keeping this um i would love to have the batman chase but it's no biggie uh, maybe i if i can get a trade with this one for the batman chase that would be awesome but if not it's all gravy all right there's that and yeah i apologize i know you know it would have been better for y'all to see like the unboxing and everything the surprise and the reaction but yeah the video just came out way too long and i didn't want to drag this video on so there's that and uh, let's see yeah let's get to our next pickup all right last and certainly not the least we did pick up the bebop and rocksteady two pack and man i totally did not expect to see these in the wild yet i mean they're not out on online yet and people are just starting to find it i think people just started to find them yesterday when i found it too so um man these look so good i just my mind is blown like they can't do any better for these two figures <laughs> it looks just fantastic the colors pop um let's actually take them out of the package and do some size comparisons all right here is bebop and rocksteady aldi package what do y'all think I think they look absolutely amazing. Like, man, the sculpting on this is just fantastic. The shading, well, I guess it's not too much shading, but these lines that they added really puts a nice touch on them. It really gives them that really nice animated look as they should because these are inspired from the animated series. And it comes with these shoulder pauldrons um, this one's loose. I don't know if this is could come loose. I don't want to force it, but it looks like it's glued to the uh, the jacket. Comes with this necklace, and I just noticed this earlier, but the glasses can flip up, and I've never seen Bebop with his glasses off. So that's kind of strange. I don't know if he ever ever takes it off in the cartoon. I don't recall. Of course, it's been a very long time since I watched the cartoon. Man, it comes with the grenades there. Uh, you know what I, what I really like about these figures? You can actually open the mouth. And it has a lot of details in there, too. It shows the tongue. Got the teeth in there. It was kind of hard to see. It's great. Man, such a nice addition. It does have the double jointed elbows, which is nice. And let's see with the legs. It has double jointed knees too. Nice. I didn't know that. Let's go back that far. Yeah, I'm not going to go through all the articulation. Uh, but it's pretty, pretty simple. It's not the most articulate figure out there, but uh, it even has the torso rotation, which is very nice. It's a bit limited on how how much you can go back and forth. But it could turn a good bit, as you can see, which is very nice. And it came with like four other in interchangeable hands. And let's see, let's take a look at Rocksteady. You can open his mouth too, which is awesome. Ooh, got a piece of dust in there. Man, they did such a good job. Like, NECA is killing it. Does the sword come off? No, it doesn't. Yeah, it's just one piece. There's a grenade back there. Yeah, not too many accessories. Um, they did both come with these guns here. 
So it's the same type of rifle. And they both came with the same one. So two of these came in the package. Same with this pistol here. And then it also came with this device here that has shredder on it, which is freaking awesome. Look at that. Boom, there he is. That is so sweet. That's a really nice addition. And okay, let's do some size comparisons. All right, let's put them side by side. Focus the camera. There we go. All right. Let's put Master Shredder next to them. Oh man, this leg is kind of screwed up. Back these guys up. There's Shredder. Uh, let's put the NECA uh, turtle from the 90s movies. So Raphael is almost a tad bit shorter than uh, Rocksteady, as you can see. But, I mean, they were not in the same show or movie. This is the movie version. This is the cartoon. So let's actually, let's actually move Raphael and set the cartoon Ninja Turtle, Leonardo, next to him. So as you can see, yeah, they scale really well together. And here is the Mattel Ninja Turtle. There's Michelangelo. And he's a lot shorter than all of them, as you can see. There's that. Um, let's actually add an old school figure. This is from my childhood. And I actually have a toy box downstairs that I uh, retrieved from my parents' house earlier this year. And I haven't looked through everything because I wanted to open it um, I want to go through it with y'all, but I've been procrastinating. So, but I did grab this figure out of the box. This is the farmer. I don't. I don't remember what exactly it's called, but I'm guessing it's the farmer Michelangelo. As you can see, he's got the overalls, bandana back there. Man, <laughs> the nostalgia is real. And uh, yeah, let's actually put him next to Bebop. Yeah, they're a lot smaller, as expected. And then, let's see, we have this dinosaur <laughs> that came with another uh, Donatello figure. But I, I don't know if it's still in the toy box. Maybe, but let's put former Mike on there. Yeah, I absolutely love this figure. And this this uh, figure of Michelangelo actually came with a tractor, if I remember correctly. And it may be in the toy box. I don't know. I'm going to have to dig in. And to, i got to show you all. I'm procrastinating on that. But yeah, there's that. There's some size comparisons. Um, I've got to say, these are some excellent figures. Highly recommend it if you're a TMNT fan. Um, or if you just like how they look. I mean, they're really just amazing display pieces and i highly recommend them i would pick them up if you can and they are going to be available online uh soon so i would definitely hit that notification button on the target app for these two figures and the other turtle sets too if you want to all right let's talk about this kappa issue so my thoughts on this issue is that this is ab absolutely preposterous i mean to possibly disable comments and the notifications for uh, videos that has kid attractive content is absolutely preposterous. I mean, what exactly is kid attractive? Almost everything, almost so many things out there. Gaming, toys, freaking collectibles, costumes, just so many things out there. Just small merchandises, um, fake pins, just so many things out there are kid attractive. So, 
for them to actually you know ban comments and all this stuff on these youtube channels that has these type of content is absolutely preposterous and this can't happen this is no this is ridiculous i'm gonna take a stand um there's a lot of youtubers out there already quitting already you know they're giving up they're they think the government is all powerful and they're totally right or something like that. You know, a lot of people grow up with that kind of mentality, you know, thinking that the government is almighty and all righteous and everything. But they're not. You got to realize, man, they're made up of people just like us. And people make mistakes. And these COPPA laws are extremely vague, you know. There's so much to this. And, you know, I could keep on and on about this but man this it, will, it, will, it can keep going going for too long so to keep it short i'm just gonna tell you what i'm gonna do i'm gonna keep on doing what i'm doing just upload videos when i'm having fun with making videos and with these toys and my hauls and hunts and we're gonna continue to stay here and provide entertainment and i'm gonna keep my videos um as it is, I'm not going to mark them kid friendly or not friendly. And I'm just going to go with the flow. And we're going to see what COPPA and YouTube does or FTC. Um, and then we'll go from there. If we have to delete our channel for some odd reason, then we will. Um, and I will move to a different platform. I don't know which one. Um, I know Twitch.tv is a lot of live streaming. And I actually was a, a, a Twitch streamer at one point. Uh, several years back and i did it for like a couple of years on and off so i do have experience with that and i could jump into that very quickly um but there's a reason why i stopped doing it you know doing live videos all the time it's 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 not easy let's just say that it's fun it can be fun but it can be uh, grueling at times mentally and physically but anyways um yeah i could also move to vimeo but honestly i don't think I think we're going to have some positive results from all this, you know. I don't think they're going to delete all the comments and stuff from everything that's kid attractive. You know, this this is ridiculous. This can't happen. You know, this is one of those situations where we need to be like Martin Luther King. We need to take a stand. They're not going to listen to me, someone with a thousand something subs. So what really is going to make a difference is I think the YouTubers with a lot of subs. You know, I think... Their voices are going to be heard and they need to speak about it and speak their mind to the FTC and all that and go from there. Of course, we can play our part, sign those petitions that are out there, um, leave a comment to the FTC. So if y'all can do that, definitely do that. But yeah, those are my thoughts on that. We're just going to keep on going the flow and we'll see what happens. You know, just going to ride the wave. I'm not stressing about it. I mean... I didn't do this to make money. Of course, we we are monetized now, so that is freaking awesome. It's pretty cool, but um, that was not my goal to keep making money. I mean, it's nice, you know, to have some funds for um, all the content that we all uh, YouTubers create, because there's a lot of work that's involved. There's a lot of a lot of time that's involved, so it is nice to have some mon monetary value to come back. But it's not not much at all, you know. I'm not not going to be making much at all so uh anyways um that those are my thoughts on that so uh, yeah we're just going to go with the flow and then we'll see what happens you know i'm not going to stress about it there's no reason to but yeah let's uh let's go and get to the giveaway rules so i have four items that are going to be available for the giveaway uh there there's going to be one winner and you're going to be able to choose from um these four items Choose one item from these four items. So, you can either, one of the choices is this DC Gamer Mystery Box Set. Comes with this Batman Pop, the Glow in the Dark Keychain, and the Glow in the Dark Pin. Sticker as well, and the Pez Spectre. So that's one choice so if you want this set oh by the way here's the rules for the giveaway so one you have to be subbed okay two you have to like this video three uh, you have to follow my Instagram I'll put the link down below and fourth 
um, you have to leave a comment down below and put the hashtag Batman if you want this set here. And let's see, if you want Emma Frost, then just type in hashtag Emma. And I wanted to give some variety. I know there's some wrestling fans out there, so. Ray Mysterio. If you want Ray Mysterio, just type in hashtag Ray. And our last figure is Jubilee. So if you want Jubilee, just type in hashtag Jubilee. And I will pick the winner in uh, two weeks. So let's see, two week, two weeks from now, I'll put the date here is when I will announce the giveaway winner. Um, but there's that. Um, hope y'all enjoyed the video. Uh, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it a whole heap. Um, and we're only getting started. And man, we're not gonna let this Kappa uh, bring us down. This is absolutely ridiculous. So we're gonna keep on trucking and keep on doing what we do. But yeah, hope y'all are doing well. Uh, let me know what y'all thought about this video if you want to. And of course, if you liked the video, please like it. And if you're not a sub, please sub to the channel if you like to. And I'll catch y'all next time, all right? Ranger out. Peace.